All right, welcome back to another Iconic Masters Draft. Uh, if you guys are watching on YouTube, be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons. Both of those help me out. And uh, if you're not watching on YouTube, you're watching right now. And we can just... I think Resto is better than Sarah Angel. But I don't like that they're both in the same pack. Yeah, we're taking Resto, though. Oh, Genesis Hydra? We can blink our Genesis Hydra. Gas. Well, it might just be Fireball. <laughs> Pretty sure Fireball is better than Genesis Hydra. Iona's Judgment, also very good, but Fireball is Fireball. Hey guys, welcome to the silky sweet sounds of my voice. Oh my god. Really? There were two better cards in this pack than this? And there's three uncommons. There were two commons better than Sky Swallower in this pack. Welp. Five color green it is. <laughs> Who boy. Did you call it? Where did you call it? Oh, come on, Sky Swallower. Wow, you did. You actually did call it. That's pretty ridiculous. I think we take Wall of Roots here. I think passing Fireball is a violation of my contract, and I would probably get... I don't actually have a contract, but I'd probably get... I would probably get released. <laughs> They're probably like, mm, you can go. I like Wall of Roots here, because we're clearly going to be green. I think this is insanely stronger than this, and this is splashable, so... I'm going to take Wall of Roots here. Is it Boiler Works? Let's just splash both of these, which is kind of cool. I do like Salt High Flare. Star Compass is also fine, but considering the fact we're not going to have any basic lands, I don't like it that much. I'm just going to take Boiler Works because it's two of our four colors. If we're even four colors, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I mean, I think we're definitely green blue because that's a strong card. I don't know if we're restoing or not. Which is unfortunate because this pack only has good white cards, like a, a quarter, or a quarter rather, Ancestor. This guy's not great. I think we're just taking Guardian Idol. Uh, they don't pay me at random, but I do. I submit an article. I submit my articles and then they invoice me at the end of the month. Or I invoice them, I guess. I don't know how that, however it works. We're going to take River Wheel Aerialists. It's better than the other seven drop worm. And I'm not sure we're playing white, so Battle Priest is. I do like the life gain deck. The life gain deck is very sweet with Accord. If the Accord comes back, I might audible to just band life gain with Sky Swallower in it. And then we'll splash red. So yeah, we'll just be four colors again. You know how we do. Yeah, I'm freelance. I'm just an independent contractor for, for Channel Fireball. And every Wednesday, we do Magic TV at 7 p.m. Pacific time. So be sure to tune in at twitch.tv slash channel fireball. You can also check it out on my Twitch page because I host it. I'm going to take... This pack is pretty bad. I guess it's Diminish. Oh, God, it's not great. Eh, it's probably Praise Vengeance over Diminish. I don't know. That pack was pretty pretty terrible. Also not wonderful. Iona's Judgment. I mean, all these. there's a lot of white cards that are coming through for us, which is really interesting. Search for Tomorrow is exactly what we want. Colagon's, Colagon Monument is not terrible. It's a red and a ramp spell. 
it's fine. Not the best, also not the worst, I guess. I don't know. Magic's hard. Pentark Ward is good. I, I guess we're just four color now. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Duskdale Worm just looks like too much a peen. Just looks too much like a peen. I mean, yes. Which is awkward. Malfagor for our for our five color green deck. Whoo boy. Topan Freeblade's very good. God, I'm wishing I took all those life gain slash uh Outlast cards now. This deck is kind of all over. Mike B went home. Oh my god, calm down, Frank Love's gutshot. Good lord. The man went to his home. He lives there. I almost like Topan Freeblade better than Heroes Bane, but. I don't like Mindstone here just because we don't have... Uh, we're looking at a lot of colors. Restoration Angel's weird because there's not a lot of creatures that you want to blink. Like, there's not a lot of enters to battlefield abilities. I don't like Lead the Stampede either. We have six creatures and I don't think we're going to be super heavy with creatures. Um... I think Hero's Bane is fine. I think it gets a little illusory angel. I like survival cash. <clears throat> I actually like illusory angel a lot with search for tomorrow. Yeah, I think we're gonna lose. I think we're illusory angeling. So it looks like we're bant splashing just red for fireball, which is fine. I can deal with that. I do like another Iona. Oh, search for... I'm going to have to take search for over Iona's Judgment in this deck. Wing, wing Shards for opponents. Uh, Simic Sky Swallower is not a terrible idea. I think it's probably Sanctuary over Boros Garrison here. Arrow Predation does seem extremely main deck worthy. I agree with you. I like Mnemonic Wall here. Gets back Iona's Judgment. Also gets back Fireball, which is pretty insane. Fogbank's good. Netcaster and Jesse and Thief are good, but I don't think those are... I don't think any of those are better than Mnemonic Wall. I also like Stalwart Aven, but... Eh, Repeal is fine. Johnny Offshoot, not great. I'm going to take the Repeal. Also, our Roshin Meanders are very good if we uh, if we get them. Because now we can cast both of these with them. I'm just taking Wall of Roots. Blinking a Wall of Roots is good. It removes all the counters. Ooh, is it Boiler Works? Exactly what we want. I like a Dissolve, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to be... I'm not thrilled about double bluing in this deck. Also, if you guys haven't seen it, check out my... I have an article that went up probably yesterday, I think. And it's called My Favorite Unstable Cube Cards. And I talk about my favorite unstable cube cards. I mean, we we can still get Vent Sentinels. What do we have? Three, four walls here. Put a Pentark Ward on a... I mean, we're not fire, forcing fire... Have you ever cast a Fireball? Let's start with that. Let's start with that question, smart guy. You ever cast one before, you, you big dummy? 
Uh, aerial predation for the sideboard is A-OK. -okay. Look, we got a Vent Sentinel anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Netcaster Spider is very main deckable. Let's start moving these things over. You, you. You, 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 you. Burp, burp, burp. All right, that's how we look so far. <laughs> is that the Georgia Bush? That is the Georgia Bush lap, isn't it? <laughs> I said, I, I can't do his voice though. I can't think of anything to, to George Bush. I can't think of anything George Bushy to say. Um, netcaster is good for main deck. Aerial predation is good for sideboard. I think we're just gonna take another netcaster. Both of them are just gonna kill flyers. So. Oh, a Jotty offshoot? Turns out we have Event Sentinel, so okay. Maybe we do cut the white. And then we just play... Uh, yeah, Flusterstorm's cute. Maybe we do just go the wall deck. I mean, it depends on how many Event Sentinels we see in this pack. Or Doorkeepers, because Doorkeeper is obviously going to do some... How good is Valkoner in here? Um, Not great, I guess. Hero's Bane gets counters. Hero's Bane is like the only card that gets counters in our deck, it seems like, so. Fool me once. Shame on me. Fool me twice. We won't get fooled again. <laughs> oh, W. And to think, you were eloquent compared to our current administration. Um, We just got real controversial, I think. Um, I don't know what to take here. Evolving Wilds is surprisingly good. It might just be the pick here. Colgon's Monument is kind of iffy, to be quite honest with you. It's not providing... It's providing one of our colors, but we don't actually need the help there. I think it might be Ivy Elemental, to be quite honest. We actually have 15 creatures. Oh, maybe it's not. All right, I'm going to take the Evolving Wilds. Sarah Angel is pretty good. I think we're taking the Sarah Angel here. Wilds and feel bad for first picking it. That is exactly what's happening right this second. Simic Growth Chamber is good. Oh, another Vent Sentinel, though? Ooh. I think it's Vent Sentinel here, guys. Another Vent Sentinel? Another Vent Sentinel! You get a Vent Sentinel. Yeah, we're taking the Vent Sentinel. We're just going ham on these Vent Sentinels now. This is Intermediate. Yeah, Flusterstorm is only worth like two and a half tickets, so. Why is this still in the pack? This card is bonkers. This card single-handedly won us our first draft. Also, this deck looks super sweet, and if we cut all of these... We only have 26 cards, which means 14 lands. We only need one cut at this moment. I think we can cut the Kolagon's Command pretty easily. Rampaging Bailoth and Sky Swallower. And this is this is this is even a vent vent sentinel deck. So it's not even this and fog bank. I want both of these walls. I also like Cephalid Broker here. Man, carve and carry out of fog bank, guys. Also, hunt the week too. This pack has four cards I want. Well, we're not using Vent Sentinel to block, buddy. We're using it to deal damage. Yeah, I think it's I think it's bank. I like having the early card and um, survival cash seems good. Can we cut the white? Actually, this is all our white? I don't even know if I like the white here. It might be bad. Twenty four cards? Twenty two cards? Hmm. I wonder if that's like because this is double white, so that's not even splashable. We could just bring in a resto just to save something. I'm just going to take Bailoth because it's the best 
probably the best card in that pack. Um, I do like Crowned Ceratok. I might just like having a Moon Glove Extract better. I mean, the rest of it would have to either splash it off Celestia Sanctuary or add a Plains, which I don't love. I'm going to take Ceratok. Actually, I'm going to take Moon Glove Extract. We have 18 creatures. Ivy Elemental is pretty okay. I'm not going to take a second Moon Glove Extract, though. Maybe it's just Distortion Strike, and then we can win on, like, Simic Sky Swallower or, like, Rampaging Balos and just deal them. Yeah, I'm just taking Distortion Strike. I don't think we need another big creature. Aerial Predation is fine. Aerial Predation is fine. And Tuko Shaman is okay. Oh, I like Enlarge. That's pretty good. Enlarge on Simic Sky Swallower. Deal 13. Okay. Oh my god, the carry added came back. That's all we wanted. Yay! This thing looks great. So one cut and we can play 15 lands. And that's also two searches and two, two Wall of Roots and a Guardian Idol. That's a lot of mana. We can't target Sai Swallower, you're right. That's sad. You can you can definitely main deck Aerial Predation in this set. It's there are a ton of flyers. You know what's funny about Jabay that I actually was on a versus system team with Alex Jabaley maybe like ten years ago. We played a uh, versus system together. Um Why do you keep, keep keep hitting on Sentinels? We're just going to deal like a million damage with Sentinels. We did pass a bunch of Assault Formations in pack one. We have 19 creatures, so we're definitely cutting a creature. Uh, I think Moon Glove Extract is very good. It kills a ton of guys. And I also would rather cut one of my 19 creatures. So I think that's what we're going to do instead. Uh, I don't like cutting Dirkwood Bailoth because it's just another way to play Illusory Angel cheap if we get it on turn one. I think we're probably cutting something like... Probably like Jesse and Thief. We don't have an efficient way to get through. Um, This draft's probably late in the queue. Are you getting out of here, buddy? Yeah, Jesse and Thief was exactly what I was thinking. What's going on the Decon? So, this is actually the deck, I believe... We definitely want a bunch of green. I'm probably going to go seven green. That's eight green sources, nine with Evolving Wilds. But we want to be able to search on turn one. Uh, enlarge is fine because, like, we have a bunch of creatures that we can enlarge, like Rampaging Baloth, Aerialists, uh, Heroes Bane, Netcaster, Netcaster, Illusory Angel. Like, I, I, some, sometimes it's just an extra 11 damage to the face. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Rob, have a good night, buddy. I don't even know if we want Guardian Idol. That doesn't seem great. I might even want an Aerial Predation in this deck. Or actually, we might want a Nantuko Shaman instead of the Guardian Idol. Hard to say, though. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This is also 16 lands. Do we need two? We only have like, we have four red cards. And we also have two search for tomorrow to get one of them. I don't think we actually need that many. Yeah, I almost like, I like Nantuko Shaman. Like we have search, search, wall, wall to get uh, four mana on turn three.
There's actually not that much life gain in this format. We do need red to activate our vent sentinels. Seven. Yeah, it's gonna. Yeah, I think we do want two red, just because it's gonna be sad if we're, our only red source is the one we are able to find with the evolving wilds. Six, seven, eight. I think that's actually fine. I don't think we have to have search on turn one. I think this is good like this. Thankfully, we don't have any double blue cards, so I'm okay with this. I'm gonna add this like this, and we're gonna cut. We're gonna bring what? Evil beard with five bucks just right with Matino's living. Yeah, all right. That was literally like five years ago. Thank you so much for the donation, man. I appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna bring in Shaman. It fits well right here. I'm probably gonna take out one Netcaster Spider. All right, let's play it like this. I think this deck looks pretty sweet. did it found an opponent also if you guys haven't done so feel free to subscribe or follow both those things help me out and uh, we've been hanging out in the disc the subscriber discord channel which has been super sweet so um all subscribers get access to that so you can hang out with us and and get our, get our chat on that was a good draw oh actually we can search for a blue on turn three and play a loose angel that's pretty excellent That's actually very good. We can also suspend here and play Boiler Works. I like that better than Wall of Roots here, interestingly enough. Survival Cash, huh? Okay. Well, you're going to draw two off that guy. Always yield to that, and you're going to come on down. Come on down! What do we get, though? We have a red, which is enough for now. We have a blue. We have double green. I think we still want a green here. Because now we can actually play... Well, I guess we could have done that anyway, but we can go green, Wall of Roots, Illusory Angel. That was a good turn. One, two, three, four, five. We also have six mana on turn four. Hey, that's pretty good. Grizzly Spectacle, Millis for four. I'll block. Storm count three. <laughs> Oof, that's a good one. Oof. Double good ones. Well, I guess this is the last time we're going to be able to... Uh... <gasps> that's a good one. Why did I overpay? Why do I always overpay? I'm really bad at overpaying for things. I always forget this is two. I just think it's a dual land. I'm just getting in for four here because that's the last time I'm going to be able to do that. 
And if you want to go tap, tap, attack for two, be my guest. Knock yourself out. Next turn, we're going to go carry added and activate. And maybe if we draw something like a fog bank, we can play that too and just deal four. Ooh, that's pretty gas. Curves are confusing, man. You're not wrong. Just brutal. I don't care about that thing. That guy is going to be so, so unleashed. Interesting. No tappies, huh? I'm going to put you to 16. Deal. When's this guy coming out? Two turns? That's not a fog bank at all. I guess we just play a green here. One, two, three, four. Unfortunate. Yeah, we're not playing spider. We're definitely keeping up vents. Actually, we could play spider. One, two, three, and then keep up. Yeah, we can just play spider here. That's pretty good. Yeah, we're definitely playing spider here. Nice. Enlarge being a sorcery is definitely bad against Blinding Mage. I agree with you. Especially two Blinding Mages. And yeah, Wall of Roots having, having access on enemy turns is basically having like two Wall of Roots. Or two two mana, right? Like two, two mana elves, two mana guys, whatever. Whatever you'd want to call it. Oh, uh, that's fine. No blocks. Deal you three. Choose a player. You. Um, I think we put on Illusory Angel, eat their Avenger, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's everything. Actually, do we want to do that? That's not a man ability, apparently. Actually, they're just dead here, right? <laughs> no, they take seven. Yeah, they're not dead. Yep. Go to six. I don't even think we need to play Fog Bank here. We'll just pass. Because then our Wall of Roots dies. So we're basically just trading one, one wall for another. Which means we didn't actually have to activate it, but... Whatever. Also, Enlarge says it has to be blocked, not it has to be blocked by all creatures. So they could literally just block it with one Enoch Bond Cane or one Blinding Mage. There's no way we're ever going to eat all three guys. It's not like Lure where they have to block with every guy they have. Noxious Dragon. All right, that's interesting what well, you're dead on board. Yep, they're like, let's see if you figure it out. You did. You figured it out. Sarah Angel and Noxious Dragon. <laughs> Aerial Predation it is. Take out one Netcaster Spider because it's probably just average. You can see Moonglove Extract in that matchup, how how good it was. Like, you get to kill Blinding Mage, Blinding Mage, or Enoch Bonkin. All of which are fine. Like, there's so many targets for Moonglove, Ex Moonglove Extract in this format that it's pretty ridiculous. I'm just going to submit like this, because I think our deck is good. Ah, oh, Illusory Angel, search for tomorrow again. Any one land in this hand is great. Even if we don't get a land, we would just play Wall of Roots or Fog Bank, I guess. <laughs> wow, that's really good. Second verse, same as the first. That's what they say. 
Topan Free Blade is obnoxious. If we hit another land, we're just going to play it so that we can block the Free Blade. The Hata Free Blade. We did not. So now we just get to play Boilerworks and Bounce. Thankfully, Fog Bank deals with this pretty well. And next turn we'll have 1, 2, 3. We can actually do the same thing we did where we go Wall of Roots, uh, Illusory Angel. Definitely getting a green here. Can we do this? We can this we can go this, gain a life, illusory angel. Is that better than wall of roots? Maybe. So next turn we're gonna pay two, then we'll have three mana next turn. So we can actually, yeah, I think that's actually fine. It gives us an extra life point, which is all we really want. And if they tap Illusory Angel, that means we can just get in there for for four next turn. They've also missed a land drop, which is good for us. Red might have been better with double vents, but I don't like only having one green, because their deck is very green intensive, even if, even if we do have all of roots. <laughs> Storm count three. Survival cash. You got it. So we can put you down to 18, but you're still going to gain. Yeah, we're definitely attacking here. Another thing we can do is play Fog Bank Vent Sentinel. Or Fog Bank. We can just play Vent Sentinel this turn. Which leaves us open to play one of these two and activate next turn for three. Is that better than Roots Vents? I think Vent Sentinel is probably better here. Vent Sentinel blocks everything, so we're just going to play Vent Sentinel here. I like Aerial Predation here. That's pretty good. That was a good draw. All right. Now we got to land. Gain a life. Tap you. So what do we have as far as mana goes? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we have to use two of it. So we can actually go Fog Bank, Wall of Roots, Activate. And then we can just deal with this guy. I don't, don't think we care about that guy. So now we can actually we can actually keep aerial predation up. I miscounted, um, but that's pretty good. Because now our vent sentinel is dealing four damage, which is pretty insane. I don't think we care about stalwart even. I think I'd rather deal deal four now is good, because we only have a limited number of like using this every turn is like using your hero power in Hearthstone. You can only do it once a turn. And every turn you don't do it, you just miss the value of that turn, so. Whereas, now we have four walls. Oh, that's even better. Wow. So now we get to kill that and Vent Sentinel and attack you and Vent Sentinel again. So we just deal 12 this, this turn cycle. That's ridiculous. Oh, I guess you could block with your Stalwart Aven, but that doesn't seem good at all. 
We can also get back aerial predation. <laughs> One, two, three. We have four mana here. We could play another Vent Sentinel, but I think that's just worse than gaining four, than dealing four. If we had another red, as someone might have suggested, I still don't think we... I, I still think getting the green is probably correct, but a second red would be great. It would go a long way to uh, closing this game out. Sure. I can't imagine they blinding mage fog bank and attack for three. It does not seem like the the winning play there. They could attack. Like they have no Yeah, there's no reason not to. Maybe we don't know it has flying or whatever, but we do. Twelve. Lots of lands. You got it. We could also get search for tomorrow. <laughs> Act play search. Let's do that. And it gets us another vent sentinel. I don't think that's great, but it is what it is, I think. One, two, three. And now we can play this and Wall of Roots next turn to, to put them to eight. <laughs> sure. This deck is pretty okay. I'm having a good time with it. Chat got real quiet all of a sudden. There's 300 people in this chat and... It's been four minutes of silence. That is super weird. That's not even... It's even... It's fine, but it's super weird. Oh, actually, it's a fifth wall. You're right. <laughs> I, I was just so locked in on four. I'm like, when you tap this, it deals four. That's what happens. Whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life. You have no way to gain life, though. I'm intrigued. Oh, no, this guy. Go to seven. Guardian Idol does not do it. Put you to one. Now they have to deal with two Vent Sentinels, which is pretty bad. Tap my angel. Send me an angel oh, right now. There's no real reason not to play this. So whatever. We can deal six. Put you to one. I don't think you have this. Just gonna just gonna go out on a limb here. Got him. Alright, sweet. Don't alienate your audience by calling them quiet. <laughs> oh, austere command would be absolutely miserable. But we both go back to zero, so I guess that's fine. And then I can start attacking them with my guardian idol. So not terrible. Also, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, be sure to smash those like and subscribe buttons. If you guys are watching it on Twitch right now as we speak... Feel free to follow or subscribe. Subscribers get access to the Discord channel, which is super sweet. Just make sure you connect your uh, your Twitch account and your Discord, and then you should be able to get an invite. Apparently, it only works on the phone though, so don't try to do it on. Um, or it only works on desktop rather, so don't try to do it on the phone. I 
I'm already following, but I'm poor. That is good enough, buddy. No worries. No worries, Ed Yak. The tension between the YouTube subscribe and the Twitch subscribe gives me conniptions. That's hilarious. Oh, man. Good times. Good times. Send me an angel right now. I actually don't I actually don't know the band name. That's interesting because I'm like super um Can someone help Kermit the Frog how to get into the Twitch Discord? I haven't done it myself because I didn't I haven't had to, but if you are able to and you're in there, can you help Kermit the Frog with that? Boy, this match is taking a while. Two minutes and 50 seconds. I don't think they know it's me in the queue, but maybe no one does want to play. Maybe no one does want to play against me. Oh, we can call ourselves Frank and Mike, and it'd be F and M. That'd be that'd be pretty funny. Unfortunately, Mike doesn't have any musical talent. Don't tell him I said that. But I mean, you can tell him. He does. He already knows. So he ain't surprised. I will play first. That's a keeper. Turn three vent sentinel. Start dealing two damage. That's rude. That's rude if you're going to tell Mike. I can't believe you do that. I thought we were friends. Right now. DiGiorno is not that good, but it's the best of the frozen pizzas. Honestly, I'm a bigger fan of Freshetta frozen pizzas. I know. It sounds crazy. All right, we did it. Land. Go. Oh, that was good. That's real good. Because now we got to turn five where we play this and activate. That's a okay, Monami. Or we can play you and play carry added this turn. I actually don't hate Red Baron either. Red Baron actually has a great sauce, in my opinion. If that's not, if that's weird, I don't think that's weird. I think it's Vent Sentinel here. I want to start activating this. 
And we can even go Jotty Offshoot activate next turn, which is fine. Um, yeah, it's got to be Wall of Roots there, unfortunately. Wow, it's funny there's a bunch of Red Baron fans in here. I actually I think Red Baron is a great a great choice. Oh. It's your boy. I also like being able to block Sultai Flare with Ka Ka Karen Carvin Carvin carry added. Sure. Yep. Don't care about any of these guys. This is great. This guy's dealt five damage so far. That's that's pretty great. Well then, really. Wow, Fireball and Simic Sky Swallower in hand? Oh, that's pretty baller. I gotta tell you. Draw a card for each creature, so you draw one card and it becomes indestructible. Deal. Okay. Well, you should have played that guy first. <laughs> but you didn't. They probably didn't have it in hand, that's probably why. land vent sentinel number two which is rough when we don't have multiple uh multiple red sources i think we just pass here Oof, double stole flare? We're at 23. Yeah, just get in there with everybody. We're going to block you and block you. Seems fine. Could have double blocked with netcaster spider too, but... I don't actually want them gaining four life. We can actually just play this guy. Oh, actually, no, we can do both. Uh, yeah, suspend. Boop. And then we put them to six, and then fireball should just kill them, presumably. Phantom Tiger. All right, you got it. Oh, they're playing the counter deck. We just faced off against this deck. And block you and block you again. And if we hit a land here, we just get to kill you. And I guess we get to kill you anyway, because <laughs> that's actually you have two cards in hand, though. That's kind of scary, right? Do we just go search land event sentinel you for three and then kill you? Yeah, then you're just dead next turn. Like, there's definitely a risk if we enlarge here because we can't activate event sentinel. And you could have anything. I guess if you had removal, you'd probably... Yeah, we could have actually fireballed. We could have swung with both of these guys and fireballed. But we can still do that, I think. Yeah, we just fireball for one instead, which is actually kind of comical. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> fireball for one. It's fantastic. All right, that'll do. They didn't have any flyers. Netcaster Spider doesn't seem great here. We can take you out. I don't know if we have anything better to put in, though. We did see a Thran Dynamo. The guys get a lot of counters. That's pretty cute. Flame Jab for two mana instead of one. Maybe it's just Duskdale Worm. I don't know. Jesse and Thief is probably better than... Uh, I don't know. None of these cards seem wonderful. Hmm. Hmm. We do have a Celestia Sanctuary if we want to bring in like a Restoration Angel or an Iona's Judgment. I like Resto with Mnemonic Wall. That's pretty good. Car Carving Carry added. But we literally have to get Celestia Sanctuary because we don't have a Plains. And that's pretty greedy, I think. I think Jesse and Thief is probably better than the uh, than the Netcasters. If we can just draw a card, it's cool. Plus, they have a lot of guys that can get unleashed. So <laughs> These Lightning Bolt nerfs are getting out of hand. Fogbank seems great against this deck. Turn two Wall of Roots into turn two Jesse and Thief. Turn three Jesse and Thief. Oh, unleashed. Yeah, so now we just play Fog Bank, which blocks forever. I can block forever. I can never block again. That's pretty good. Here comes Sultai Flare. You ready? <laughs> I'll choose this guy. You got it. Carbon Carry Added's good, though. That gives us another thing. Oh, that was a great draw. Carbon Carry Added into Boilerworks. Next turn, we can go Wall of Roots and Repeal. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's, that's going to work. This guy's doing some work here, man. Mm hmm. Oh, they're missing land drops for days, actually. This game's probably over. They missed two land drops. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we just Simic Sky Swallower here, guys. What do you think? Bum, bum, ba -dum. Along with the Vent Sentinel, this is a three turn clock. I will take another two damage. Give me them skies, boy. This is probably unbeatable, right? Like... What do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight mana. We can go Vent Sentinel. We can also go Mnemonic Wall, bounce this guy. We can go one, two, three, four, five, get back, repeal. Hmm. Oh, we're just attacking for six here, first off. Okay, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. We have nine mana? Over two turns, though. One of, one of those things has to be an instant. We're definitely casting Mnemonic Wall here. So we can activate. We got three. That's good enough to bounce this guy. Yeah, that's fine. Do you shoot my wall of roots? Oh, that's so sad. How many times are we going to bounce this one throw kill assassin? A lot. A good amount. 2 5 is pretty good at blocking a 4 3. Spirit Monger again? Oh, Grizzly Spectacle, our Carvin carry added. Okay. Well, you're getting somewhere, that's for sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight mana. So we can play Search and Bailoth this turn. Four, five, six. Actually, we're actually. I can't tell if I'm getting too greedy with the Sky Swallower. I think we play Search Aerialists, right? Let's go land. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is good. Yeah. Well, they hit the enlarge. The enlarge is funny because it would have been the next card. So we would. Act oh, we can't. We still can't enlarge the Simic Sky Swallower. So. I don't think you can deal six unless you have Fireball, but you can also pump this guy, I guess. Wild Size. Wild Size is going to be good. Wild size is rough. Yep. Should have actually blocked with Pneumonic Wall. I don't know what I was thinking there. We just block with Pneumonic Wall, and then we kill him next turn. That was pretty bad. I think I'm trying to figure out how to survive. But I think we actually have enough to keep them at bay. I don't think they can play another guy this turn. And we have two blockers. Yeah, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have ten mana, so we can actually play two dudes. That's pretty good. Yeah, three blockers against them is actually just fine unless they have Fireball. And they do. <sighs> Could have just won. We threw that game away, I believe. They still don't have any flyers, so that was pretty brutal. Still think the deck is fine. Like, we threw that game away. That was pretty rough. Yes. Keep. Yeah, we definitely could have won there. No joke. Boy, do I know it. We can actually play Fog Bank here, which might be better. One, two, three, four. We have to get Boiler Works down, though, is the problem. Yeah, Fog Bank doesn't do anything this turn, so this is a fine. This is a fine mess we've gotten ourselves into. Now we have to now we have to actually work for the win. I have not seen this card. Wow. Let's get it forced. 
Guardian of Fog Bank, that's a good turn. Um, every time, never fails. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, we play Simic Sky Swallower next turn. That's pretty good. I'd like to block, but they could have wild size, which is pretty scary. If they're attacking, I don't think we're blocking. This guy's just an 8 8. If they have another foul tongue, I'm probably going to cry. That is not a foul tongue, nor is it a wild size. That was pretty good for us. One, two, three, four, five. We'll have six mana. Oh, a seven. My bad. So we can actually suspend this and bounce overgrown battlement, which is good because they missed a land drop. Or we can pump this guy and deal them eight. You think they have virulent swipe? That's an interesting. I mean, I'll trade with a virulent swipe. They have no other targets. Like, that seems like a really random card that they would have. Do we just deal eight here? They definitely don't have Swipe. That's pretty ridiculous. We are Toxin. You have 411 misdirections. That's utterly insane, dude. I think we're just dealing 8 here. I'll take 3 if they want to hit me for 3. I mean, they missed a land drop, so we're definitely bouncing their, their overwhelming guy. And now they have to jump block, which is fantastic. So now we just play Sky Squallower, and then they have nothing on board. This game's pretty much over. Also, we're at 93 subs right now. That'd be sick if we can get to either 95 or 100 tonight. But I don't want to force you guys to sub. Just saying, it would be sweet. Because that's a cool goal. We have 8-8 eight, eight. that gets uh, that becomes a 16-16, and we get some excess while over. That's a uh, unbeatable flying machine. And that's game. All right, sweet. This deck is great. I'm a big fan of this deck. Welcome to... Uh Welcome to walls.deck. Yeah, um, definitely didn't mind not playing white here. This hand is actually good enough. We get a green, and then we get a second green, so we can play carry added. We can also get back search. I don't know if enlarge is great here, but I think our hand is good enough to keep without worrying about it. Oh, well, thank you very much. Sometimes you just know exactly what I'm looking for, Magic. <laughs> I, just, I just followed you and asked me to sub unfollow. Hey, buddy, listen, I'm sorry. I appreciate the follow. Thank you so much, dude. Wow, this is working out quite well. Now, I like there's no land destruction in this format. I mean, maybe there's like one spell that does it. I don't even think there is, but maybe. And uh, that's kind of nice because who needs that? Who needs that drama? Am I right? Can I get an illusory angel here? Moon glove extract. I, I guess a simple no would do magic. A simple no would do. Oh, I can't do that. 
Oh my god, these lands. I definitely don't want to get Search for Nara back with new... Oh, wow, you already saw my Caravan carry added. Can I get that back with the pneumatic wall? Pneumatic, pneumatic, pneumatic wall? Bro, you think you can stop my wall train? You can't. Don't try. Five cards in their hand, huh? That's a lot. Let's get a second island here. <gasps> One away. Dang. One, two, three, four, five, six. So close yet so far. One, two, three, four, five. Why do we only have five lands? Did we forget to play a land one turn? This replaces a land. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. As usual, I feel like Simic Sky Swallower is going to uh, just take over this game. They've also missed two land drops, which is... Not really something I'm going to complain about. They're also not attacking, which means they don't have any kind of tricks. And they have to have two Foul Tongue Invocations if they want to get through this Simic Sky Swallower. Or like a Dragon Draconic Roar Plus. So I'm actually tempted to just play Mnemonic Wall to get back Search, even though it's not great, just because it protects Simic Sky Swallower a little better. Stream title does promise, Mike. Oh, man, I should have updated it when he left. Sorry, guys. Welp. So nine. We don't have enough mana for both. We can play just Vent Sentinel here, which is good. This card is so ridiculous, dude. Let's return... I'm going to return a forest here. <laughs> We're at 24 life. We have a Vent Sentinel and a Sky Swallower on board. And that'll do. All right. I'm probably going to take the Enlarge out. Maybe the Enlarge shouldn't be in here, but we, have a, we haven't drawn Rampaging Baloths yet. But we don't. it's not like we don't have a lot of creatures that can actually attack with an Enlarge and deal a significant amount of damage. Um, this guy's out. So we have like seven dudes that can attack with Enlarge. And it's also just a good way to deal a lot of breakthrough when we're dealing, you know, a couple points a turn with these guys. So Enlarge has actually been fine. What the hell? Why would you do that? What? Why are you doing this? I don't understand. What's going on right now? Sort by converted mana cost. No, I don't want this happening. Combine groups. Okay. Search. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is unreal, dude. I'm clicking on one, right? This is one highlighted. And it, it, it selects all 40. Holy god, this... I'm going to take out one spider for one aerial predation because they'll probably have floaters, whether it's like Malfagor or whoever. Um, oh, now it's moving. Okay, cool. Thank you. Wow. Ooh, Magic Online, you are a real treat sometimes. Uh, I don't think I'm bringing all the aerials. It's a feature. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that's it. I'll bring in two, and I'll take out the enlarge, and we'll, we'll submit like this. They'll probably have removal. I imagine they'll have something. Oh, this hand is rough, but it's not really, actually. We have a turn three, this guy. If we draw a search, it's very good with looser angel. So we just want to draw a search, or an is it boiler works. Either one is fine. Turn two, this guy, is it boiler works. Everybody wins. A 
that's also pretty good. Oh, this hand is actually bonkers. A Lucifer Angel Rampage, you get like Fireball. We have not played Balos one time. We did find them, though. Search. Um, That's actually good because it lets us play Baloth. We're at a point where, like, we play Event Sentinel next turn and any two drop lets us play uh, Looser Angel or any search for tomorrow lets us play Looser Angel. So that's pretty good. That's frustrating. Actually, it's not, because we want to be able to play Baylos and then start playing Boilerworks, which is pretty sweet. We do have double bounce. We have three bounce lands, uh, which is just the best. We can also Fireball for one something if they play like a 1-1. One -one. It's not great, but it's funny because it lets us play a 4-4 four -four Angel, so whatever. Whatever. That guy's fine on turn million. Oh no! Actually, I think we fireball this and play as a boiler works. The next turn we can go fog bank. Oh, but don't, I don't want to like ruin that. Is the problem? Oh, one blue is so problematic here. That's frustrating. We could just play Fog Bank, Bounce a Boiler Works. I think we're more concerned with the Boiler Works now than the Rampaging Beloth, because we don't have six lands. We also have two other Bounce lands, so I'd rather just play... We can't actually bounce the green because we want double green next turn. We actually have to bounce the blue, but we don't need double blue anymore, so I think that's fine. We're also going to get a blue, so we can just play the other island. Yeah, that seems fine. We'll go Fog Bank. This is where they go Coligon's Command. No? Okay. You bounce. Yeah, we're not going to just say go, but... We are going to pass with a Vent Sentinel for two, which is reasonable. We also get to play, probably not Baylos next turn, because that's rude. We're not going to block, so we might as well deal the two now. One, two, three, four, four to this guy. We won't actually have enough mana for Illusory Angel. They only have three cards in hand. I think our hand is well suited to deal with whatever they may have. Yeah, that's actually okay. So three, four, five. If we get seven mana, we can kill both of those. That's a great draw, guys. Actually, I think we kill Furnace while play a Lucery Angel here. That seems great. And then next turn we can start boiler worksing forever. Yeah, let's kill you. And we want a blue, so we gotta keep one, two, three. Yeah, that's pretty insane. <laughs> oh, that's real good. And next turn we go Bailos Boiler Works. Bounce boiler works. Who boy. That's what you grizzly spectacled? That's just fine. You may have buyer's remorse after that, though, my friend. Always yield, always yes. Oh, you got a Doomblade too, huh? 
No? Yes. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, Flame Tongue Invocation. So long, you. Do you have no cards in hand? Boy, oh boy. I'm okay with that. Yeah, we actually could have played Island there. Island was the correct one uh, to play. We're going to block here and assume you didn't draw another Kolagon's command. But considering you have Kolagon Monument, I don't really feel like... Yeah, it's fine. I can't stop you top decking a, a Grizzly Spectacle, so... Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> this deck has a lot of removal and we have nothing left, so... Yeah, we're going to have to draw Aerial Predation within probably about three turns, I would say. Yep. Fireball in the graveyard, two Vent Sentinels, Moon Glove Extract is a thing. We can still draw, draw size. Yeah, Sky Swallower also works. I mean, we have turns. Like, we have two Aerial Predations that we haven't hit yet. Like, there's a bunch of cards on our deck. How many lands? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's only five lands in our deck, so a third of our deck is lands. And one search. So six cards are kind of dead. Wall of Roots is also... <laughs> really? I didn't even know this card is in this set. Holy shit. Ooh boy. So we're dead on board now. One time is some sky swallower. Wow, I thought this game was great. Like we had everything we needed. Yep, that'll do. All right. Wow. Remember those aerial predations we were bringing in? We brought two in, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Boy. Tempted to bring in the third one. Two should be enough. Like, let's be real. Two should be enough. I mean, the only the only flyer that they had, they have they had the whelp too, didn't they? Actually, it's pretty good, and it's also another mnemonic wall target. All right, let's try that. Yeah, moon moon glove extract is not great here. I will keep this hand on the play. Oh, they went to six. All right. Difference between two packs and four packs, or six packs here. It's pretty good. This hand's slow, but it's got some good guys. Some good, some good dudes. Mono Vent Sentinel Control over here. <laughs> so we can go Vent Sentinel, Vent Sentinel, Celestia Sanctuary. Got some good boys. Sure. I lost recently to get my 64-64 Grizzly spec. Oh, man, that's actually a real thing. We should keep that in mind. Heroes Bane getting Grizzly Spectacled is, sounds like a nightmare. This guy's going to get Grizzly spec and they're going to mill us for two, and they're going to hit Simic Sky Swallow Rampaging Balos.
No, that is not that is not it. Okay, this is all stuff I don't really care about tremendously. Old Durky. Hmm. Do we just go Vent Sentinel and then Celestia Sanctuary here, or do we just play Heroes Bane? It's probably Heroes Bane here, I think. Because next turn we can play uh, Dirkwood Bayloth. Or we can play Vent Sentinel, activate Vent Sentinel, which is also a thing. That guy is fine. I wish that guy can't block. Huh. So they have Grizzly Spectacle 100%. And we're definitely not pumping this guy, because that would be nightmare fuel. And there you go. Sure. Doorkeeper, Fogbank, Vent Sentinel. That's actually a fine hit. I think it was probably better to play the other land, but I don't know. One, two, three, four. It was probably Bailoff this turn. I think that was a better play, but I'm just going to stick with this because we can activate twice next turn for six, which is a lot. And we can also keep up Aerial Predation. For the following turn when they activate Kolagons. Oh, that's... That's actually pretty good. It only kills Jotty Offshoot. That's actually great for us. Definitely not blocking that, that dude. Do they have one card in hand? That's good for us. We deal six a turn. One, two, what does Mnemonic Wall get back? Nothing right now. Oh, Predation. We kill this, and then we actually uh, get it back. That's gas. <laughs> Infinite life. I think we'll be all right. Also, we're going to kill the Kolagons Monument first if they attack with that, because that cuts them off mana, and we don't get to we get another life from the Jotty Offshoot, which they're probably going to do, because why wouldn't you? It seems like they don't have much else to do. They have one card in hand. Uh, interesting. Is that better? I don't think that's better. Yep, Jotty Offshoot. Actually, we should have blocked. Oh, that would have been so good. We block. We missed the line. We just took an extra two that we didn't have to. Yeah. They're going to kill it anyway. We totally forgot. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. So we just get... One, two, three, four, five. Keep this up. Welcome back, Psycho Tiger Man. Yeah, double aerial predation here is pretty good. We also get to keep dealing six. No blocks. Depends on how much you're going to deal me here. No pumps? I'll take it. Pumps, I'll pass.
Yep, now we're just going to kill it. Can we draw any wall here? Actually, I don't care about walls. Oh my god, that's so good! Yeah, next turn we'll play Bailoth because it lets us keep Predation up, but for right now we're just keeping up 6 damage. Because next turn we can go Bailoth, keep Predation, and 1 activation of Sentinel up. Which is pretty good. I'm not holding it until then because we can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then still keep 3 up for Predation. Which means we don't get hit by this guy. Oh, a land. They have one. Oh my god, this is going to be so brutal. No blocks. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm probably just going to keep this guy up and deal another six. So. Three aerial predations all did work this game. We're still at 20. And we've killed three flyers. That's un actually only two. Two aerial predations, but we got one back with Mnemonic Wall. That's pretty insane. So they spent a total of... 6, 12, 16 mana on 3 flyers. We spent 9 to kill them all. And in the darkness, bind them. Man, Vent Sentinel's doing some work, boys. This is where they kill something in response. So that we uh, are forced to tap this and not draw our card. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> That's great. That's kind of a meme. <laughs> oh, man. That's pretty nice. Are they dead? Are you... Are you not dead here? All right. <laughs> That'll do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you guys haven't done so, smash those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you next time.